and welcome to today's video. So today I'm going to be talking about all of my favourite products and things that I've been using throughout July. I did this previously for June so if you're interested in seeing what my favourites were for the month of June then I'll leave that in the description as well. But it is a real mixture again this month of makeup, skincare, beauty products, fashion, just general bits and bobs that I've really been enjoying using in July. And just starting off with my favourite makeup items from July. So the first thing is this Barry M Glitter Fix Gel and this is an absolute godsend when using shimmers or loose glitter or just really glittery eyeshadow shades. It does exactly what it says, you just pop a little bit on your eyelid and then just pop on your favourite glitters and shimmers and they stay put all day. So I actually picked this one up from Boots, it was £4.99 but I think you can get it anywhere where they sell Barry M makeup. This comes in this little tube so what I tend to do is just squeeze a little bit on the back of my hand and then either dab it on with my finger or a clean brush before putting on my glitter shades. So yeah, that has been a really big hit this month. Next up, just on the makeup theme, and this time I've got a mascara, and this is the Billion Dollar Lashes Instant Volume and Curled Lashes Mascara from Primark. And I think this cost about three pounds. It is in my Primark makeup and beauty haul video, so definitely check that out to see what else I've got from Primark as well. But this is actually a really, really excellent mascara. It's incredible. So this is what the wand looks like. It is curved. It does exactly, again, what it says it's gonna do. I find when I'm using this, I do get a really good curl on my lashes without the need for eyelash curlers. It makes them look definitely more voluminous than obviously without the mascara. It's not clumpy. The formula itself isn't like too wet or too dry if that makes sense. If you haven't tried this particular mascara from Primark I would definitely recommend it. I've been using this I think for pretty much every single makeup look that I've done this month. So the next makeup item is actually something I've had for a little while and it's actually the Beauty Bay Nikki Tutorials eyeshadow palette. I have already done a full review on this previously on my channel so if you're interested in seeing like a completed look with this palette then definitely check that out as well but for some reason this month I've just been really reaching for this palette mainly so for like this side of these really bright kind of summery shades but the shimmers in this are absolutely gorgeous they definitely apply better with your finger than a brush I've done several looks with it and just I think forgot how much I love this palette. I kind of pledged myself at the start of July that I was going to try and use some different palettes I haven't used for a while, reach for this one and just haven't looked back really. So this is available on Beauty Bay, it is £25 which I think for all of the shades is really excellent value. As I said I have done a full review on this palette kind of separately already so definitely check that out if you're interested in finding out a bit more about this palette. Next up I'm just going to go through all of the skincare products that I've really been loving throughout July. So the first thing is this little tube here. So this is the Balance Me Vitamin C Repair Serum. I think I got this in like a birch box or a Look Fantastic box, one of those sorts of things. But this here is uh, Award-winning Zingy Gel Serum reduces pigmentation and uneven skin tone while boosting hydration, elasticity and texture. And I've been using this not every single day, but frequently throughout July. And I think for me, it has really helped to improve my skin texture. Not that I had really awful skin texture anyway, but this has been a really great product. It has been really gentle on my sensitive skin which is always a big bonus and it also has quite a nice fragrance as well. It reminds me of um, those like citronella candles that you use in the summer to keep like the mosquitoes away so it's that kind of citrusy fragrance which I think is really fresh and just really nice. I'm not sure how much this costs 
on its own because I did pick it up in a subscription box but I will definitely put the details for this in the description I'm sure the full size of this probably is a bit bigger than this little tube here but definitely highly highly recommend this it's been really great for me this month next up skincare wise is another product from Primark and this time it is their creamy cleanser and you can see here this is just two pounds for this massive tube and this is their creamy cleanser with a vitamin e and organic rose and this is for all skin types including sensitive skin and this has been really really gentle on my skin but it has got really quite a subtle rose fragrance the fragrance is more noticeable when you've got it on your hands and you're obviously applying it onto your face but it's not too overbearing if you're on the lookout for a new cleanser i would definitely recommend trying this one or if not trying one of their other range of cleansers and lastly skincare wise is a face mask and just like last month i haven't saved the packaging for it so i will insert a picture here but it is the super drug tropical cocktail face mask and what i really like about this one is that you apply it to your face it obviously dries after about 10 or 15 minutes or so and then you peel it all off there's just something really satisfying about just like peeling this mask off your face um again it's got a really lovely tropical fragrance seems to be a bit of a theme so far this month of tropical and citrus but really highly rate this one it was 99p or when i picked it up it was still in the three for two offer with all of the super drug face masks it was really kind and gentle to my sensitive skin and my skin just felt really soft and smooth and just kind of radiant after using it i definitely keep meaning to go back to super drug and pick this up again yeah i just really liked it and i just thought it made it a bit more interesting that it was a peel off rather than just a you know a wash off mask right next up a kind of just I guess other more generic beauty products that I've been using this month. So the first thing is this Lisu body butter. Uh, this is their coconut one and believe it or not this came from Home Bargains and cost only 89p for this massive tub. So this is for normal to dry skin. It leaves your skin feeling smooth, soft and smelling fantastic. And I definitely agree with all of those points. So I have mostly been using this on my legs because I do tend to sometimes get quite dry skin on my legs and it's been working absolute wonders. It just smells like summer. It just smells absolutely gorgeous. It's just a really summery fragrance. This of course is the body butter inside i'm not going to tip it too far because i'll probably end up with it all over the floor but for 89p i don't think you can really go wrong with this um as i said this came from home bargains but i think you can also get it in places like savers uh, i don't know if they do any other kind of fragrances in this range of body butter all they had was coconut at my home bargains but yeah i just really really like this it's just made my skin feel really smooth and soft and hydrated and it just goes to show you don't need to spend a fortune on a body butter next up i have got this palm olive milk and honey shower cream and again this came from home bargains and i think it was about a pound but this just smells lovely it's not too overpowering in the honey smell and i do like the fact that it is a shower cream rather than like a shower gel um, it does lather up really really nicely but it's really moisturizing really just gorgeous product and for the price for this big 500 ml bottle definitely a bit of a winner and then last up just in this little segment is this ginormous radox stress relief bath soak so this is the bath soak blended with minerals rosemary and eucalyptus scent and this yeah is a big liter bottle so even the fragrance of it just is really relaxing i think you're just mostly getting like the eucalyptus and the rosemary it's just really nice just makes my muscles feel all relaxed and it just bubbles up really really nicely and i don't know what it does but it just 
instantly makes me feel de-stressed and super relaxed more so than any other like bubble bath that I have used but again I think this came from Home Bargains and was about £1 something I know you can get this in boots and other places like that and I think it's still less than a couple of pounds it looks like I've used hardly any but you don't actually need to put loads in your bath just to get it really really bubbly last up I have just got my favorite fashion and clothing items for July I don't think I've actually bought any new clothes this month so I'm just going to talk about what I have been wearing the most first thing is from monkey and it is these yellow ribbed trousers they're like a wide leg trouser they are a stretch jersey material and then they're just elasticated at the top as well they don't have pockets but they are really really lovely trousers they are so comfortable and the fact that they are wide legged means that they have been really great for the hot weather that we've been having they are just a nice relaxed fit and just all around a really comfortable pair of trousers they are in my favorite color yellow which i think is an added bonus as well and an even added bonus actually when i bought these they were on sale for 10 pounds instead of being 25 pounds really comfy pair of trousers perfect for the summer next up something i have been wearing loads this month is this oversized lilac broidery top from asos so this I picked up a little while ago in my last ASOS haul. So if you're interested in seeing like how it looks on and everything, then definitely check out that video. But I really love the colour of this. It's such a pretty summer colour and I obviously like all the broidery effect as well. It's just a really nice lightweight t-shirt. It is 100% cotton. So again, it's really good for the hot weather that we've been having just nice and lightweight oversized fit which is exactly what I like and just an all-round great t-shirt that I've pretty much been living in for this month and last up we have another t-shirt and again this is from Monkey and it is this white oversized top with this kind of abstract print on the front so I believe this was on sale again as well I think it maybe was about eight pounds down from 15 you can see a really oversized fit again the sleeves come down to about elbow length and lengthwise you could get away with pairing this with a pair of biker shorts or like full length leggings it's not long enough to wear on its own I mean maybe if you were a bit shorter than I was you probably could but I've just been wearing this with some black biker shorts and it's just been a really comfy go-to outfit for this month I mean you can't really go wrong with a white top with some sort of pattern on this again is 100% cotton so of course very breathable and great for the summer and that is all of my favorite items and products that I have been using and wearing throughout the month of July do let me know if you have tried out any of these products before or if you've got a favourite out of these, I would love to know. I did also do this for the month of June, so if you're interested in seeing what my favourite products were for the previous month, then definitely check that out as well. But as always, thank you so much for watching today's video. I really hope that you did enjoy it. If you did, please do give the video a big thumbs up, leave a comment, and if you are new to my channel, please consider subscribing and I'll see you again in my next video.